going guys? It's the Pixelated Pumpkin and today we are at Halloween City for the Halloween 2023 season, taking a look at everything they have. Now, this hall, I've already of course been to a party city, basically the definitive party city uh, when I got invited to their in-person exclusive VIP Halloween opening event. So I'm really gonna be seeing everything I already saw in there, but I still wanna check out what they have this year. So let's head on inside. Get a look at this inflatable in the window real quick. All right, let's go in. And here we are inside the store now, Kill Gore Gardens. You got Mad Monster Marlin and of course the 12 foot Wendigo. Let's start with him, his hands on the release model, the prototype had massive hands. The hands on this guy, a lot smaller than the prototypes. That's interesting. Get a look at his clothing here too. Certainly awesome for sure. Big fan of this one. Let's do it one more time. That is amazing. Here's the mad monster. Doesn't look like he is working, but I'll give you a quick look at him. Look at these massive hands. Let's head inside Kill Gore Gardens and see what they have. All right, well, here we are with everything. Before we get started, let's just take a quick look around to see everything they have. Wow, they even have the little pumpkin groundbreaker, I believe from uh, 2021 or 2020. This guy is actually really rare, so that is cool. They do have him here. Here we have the Creep from Creep Show and the Drop Down Scarecrow, as well as you got the little raccoon there. Let's just walk around to the other side real quick. You got Leatherface right up front, so awesome. You have the Exterminator, Pop Up Pumpkin Patch, Livid Lava Demon and of course, Torture Box Woman. So there are a lot of animatronics that they basically have the entire lineup here, which is awesome to see, except for the Mega Wolf, which I was really hoping to see, but uh, it's unfortunate. Anyways, we got so much here. So let's take a look at all of it. Let's start off on the far end with Torture Box Woman. Her animation is unfortunately not working, but you still got the lighting up inside there. Really awesome. Only $200, this one's a great one. It's pretty small too, so it's not gonna take up too much space in your haunt. And it looks really cool and very creepy. I'll try to give you, eh, yeah, you're not gonna get the best look inside. I mean, I could kinda, no, you're just gonna see a reflection of me in there. All right, here we have the Livid Lava Demon, one of my favorite demon props. <laughs> Absolutely love that lighting effect inside his head there. It is so awesome. And same with the hands too. You got the hooves down here. I believe he does have a tail. It doesn't look like it's attached though. One more Let time. Let me show you the cozy warmth of the underworld's fiery abyss of eternal suffering. That is awesome. All right, let's move on to the big boy pop-up pumpkin patch. Turn him on. Nice. 
I love the voice on him. That is so cool. I love the voice on him. You know, obviously I've already seen all this, but getting to see the person again and like really up close, cause at the actual event, it was a little bit hard to get close to them. Here, you know, you're right in front of it. So it really gives you a sense of this guy's enormous size. He has a bit of a long reach that I'll back up once again so you get just a view of how huge he is. Hey, look at the hands. There you go. We'll do him one more time after he resets. Get a look inside. You got a cool light in there, a green light, which is awesome. I love that. All right. Ready? Let's do him again. <laughs> Such an awesome animatronic. I really, really like him. But the reset, as you could see, is very, very long. I wish he got restarted resetting a little bit of the way through his phrase, but uh, so, so, so cool. Moving on, we have the Exterminator now. Get a look at this guy. Hey, no All right, man. Light it up. Love this one. Don't come any further. Okay, you went for it. <laughs> Have the jump scare trick or treater zombie boy, but he is not working as you can see. Yeah, nothing. But I'll give you a look at his face from underneath. This one's alright in my opinion. It's pretty gory, which I like. And uh, overall, pretty cool little zombie boy. Moving on front and center, we have Leatherface. <laughs> My favorite of the year in Party City. Leatherface one more time. the pumpkin patch terror which is very rare turn them on <laughs> it's just like a normal uh, svi like groundbreaker type prop but this one it was sold like way back in like i believe 2021 or 2020 this was first sold it's an old one but they're pretty rare they ain't get shipped out to many stores do them one more time He's a cool one. He's probably my favorite SVI ground maker they ever made. It's only $100. It looks awesome. Let's do him again. Just to, you know, never seen this thing in person up until now. He's going pretty quick there. Yeah, they have, I believe, two of him in stock here. Um, this thing, again, pretty rare prop. One more time. Go. Here we have the creep from Creep Show. Get a look at the book. There's a little comic book. His mouth is supposed to move, just so you know. It doesn't have Take a look at what he's reading here. Looks like a page ripped straight from the comic. Get you underneath. <laughs> Get 
Yeah, he doesn't say anything. He just laughs. His mouth's close to me. One of my, to my third favorite of the year, I believe, the drop down scarecrow. There's not a soul left. <laughs> They're all gone. That is wicked. I love this thing. I, I haven't even gotten to see his face that up close until now. That is so awesome. What a fantastic jump scare that was. So cool. Let's do one more time. One step closer and I'll take your soul. You get a better sense for how far he jumps there. So awesome. Hey, look at the backgrounds they have too for this year for Kilgore Gardens. Awesome. <laughs> on to our last animatronic here we have the classic in my opinion at least i like this thing the pop out trash raccoon <laughs> Get a look at the little critter there. Not a bad jump scare. I like how he's in a trash can, a turned over trash can. That is pretty cool. There he goes receding back into his little trash cave. Let's get him one last time. Awesome decor sign here. That is super cool. Get a look at the face on that thing. And right underneath all of it, we have a whole bunch of animatronic boxes, including some uh, Morris costumes props. That's interesting. Here you have a uh, ice cream clown. You got two torture box womans, three, four drop down scarecrows. You got one crouching zombie boy. You got one mad monster, mo or two mad monster moms, it looks like. There's a uh, Livid Lava Demon, two of them. You got one Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. And you have one of these. I don't know if, there, yeah, there's one in there. I thought it might've been the box for the one that's set up, but you have the Pumpkin Patch Terror, which is a very rare one. And you got a Pop-Out Trash Coon Rat, or not Trash Coon Rat, Trash Raccoon, my bad. Um, and you got uh, one of these little walking skeleton guys. Yeah, so there you go. There's the stock for this store. That is it for the animatronics. Let's see what else the store has to offer. Now here we have my second favorite section. Besides the animatronics, the masks. And they have a fantastic selection in my opinion. Better than Spear Halloween selection for sure. It's a lot more gory, they have a lot more scary characters, and I think they have one of the best mask selections out of any Halloween store. It's a really, really good one, so let's start taking a look at all of them. They have this awesome super green neon, basically, infected zombie mask, I love that. And here we have Alien Jaw, which honestly could pass as a spider mask too. That is really cool. Got a good look here. Yeah. Here we have this vampire, the starving vampire. That's another awesome one. Probably the Spear the Spear Halloween has a variant of this. It's a little bit more heavy, a little bit more bigger. I don't know. They look very, very similar though. Only thing is the spirit one, the Spear Halloween one has blacked out eyes. This one has blue. Interesting. Here we have Jeep the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Good movie. Here we have the really, really awesome mummy mask with the skull protruding. This one is super, super cool. Here we have a zombie. That one looks good. And we have a zombie with a mask on, a medical mask, a patient zombie. More like a doctor, I would say. Got all the blood there. Here you have another sort of, this is a Zagoni mask here. This one looks cool. Here we have a big angler fish and a big, uh, 
alien mask. We have this interesting looking teeth mask, that's cool. Some more Zagoni ones. This one's cool. Scarecrow, very simple. Very cool though, it is uh, latex. You got the Fear Street mask. And down here you got this big, big demon. Super awesome. Here we have the albino werewolf. Look how much blood is on that thing. That is sick. We have our black werewolf. Really, really cool. Here we have some Animotion masks. You got a typical werewolf and you have the new Hellhound for this year, which I'm going to be doing a video on very soon. Here you have this chopped up guy. Get a look at that. Get a look at that. That is super, super cool. You have this vertigo mask where he has two mouths and two eyes, or three eyes, three noses. There you go. Look, it's sticking out of his nose in the thing. That's funny. You got a big horse mask. And this one I actually have because Party City, thank you for giving this to me. Part of their event again. We have the big mega zombie, which is just awesome. Love that one. Here we have Baphomet. It's a very serious looking Baphomet. Black Devil, that is awesome. You got Krampus, it looks like, down there. You have a Skeletor mask. I don't know if that's officially licensed from He-Man or not. You got a blue, look at that mask. Ooh, look at this one. Pumpkin. Oh, the Dark Harvest, classic. Another Animotion one. Here we have this, this step. Well, a lot of pumpkins here, typically are my favorite. That's a cool one right there. Some clowns now. Here's the tripolar clown, which is good to see again. This one was my favorite from the Party City event. We have the Guy Fox mask, that's what it is. Uh, basically, the icon of 4chan, I would say. And the Team Anonymous, awesome stuff there. Got some EL Wire ones now, always cool. Got the one basically from the Joker movie. Not turning on though, unfortunately. We got some more clowns. Another one of my favorites, the wood monster. This one is super, super cool. Get a look at that thing. That is actually awesome. You got Sam from Trigger Treat. There you got the angler fish a little bit better. You got the masks up there, giving a little showcase. You got Halloween ends, Michael Myers. And oh, I, must, I almost missed this one. We have a nightmare, it's just called. That is something straight out of a messed up children's book. Kind of reminds me of the Babadook a little bit. Good movie there. Uh, Strangers, I've not seen that movie. Here we have Spectre, which is another one I have. Thank you, California Costumes, once again. And we have the D Wicked Wings. Very, very cool selection of masks this year. Here we have all of our skeletons now, and there are a lot of them, including these ones I haven't seen, these pumpkin skeletons, which are really, really cool. Get a look at the face on that guy. You got your normal skeletons, the Yorick's they call him. And of course, I love these a lot, the super shiny gold ones. These are really cool. Get a look at how shiny that is. We have a mermaid skeleton now, that's interesting. And you know, you have your smaller skeletons and you have your super small skeletons, which think about it for a minute, these things have some pretty dark implications. You got your really small skeletons here, which are bendable. Really cool, I like those. Got a little, oh, wall, a wall popper skeleton. That is new to me. I have not seen anything like that before. Got some big skulls that light up down here. I don't, they probably have to put batteries in them yourself. That doesn't look like there's a try me, but these are pretty cool. We have a whole bunch of skeleton critters and creatures over here. The moth one is, you know, very anatomically wrong, but uh, it's cool, I will admit that. We have a rubber duck skeleton, a cat. Looks like dinosaurs, some crow heads down here. Big spider skeletons, which I like. Even got crab skeletons, that's, that's new to me. Looks like a little infant skeleton, which is very dark. Here you have a snail and a teddy bear, and a turtle. Here we have an alien skeleton now, that is awesome. You know, some more smaller skeletons, and some giant bat skeletons down here. And a flamingo skeleton, would you look at that? Got a werewolf skull, it looks like. Melting gold skull, candle skull, red skull, and pumpkin skull. 
Lots of skulls. We have some smaller skulls. Look at this really bloody, gory one. That is so cool. This melting gold one is awesome. For the tabletop props now. You got the little dolly that should be a jump scare, I think, if I remember correctly. There you go. That's a cool jump scare. You have the two-headed doll. Just... That's very creepy. You have the vulture. Oh, that one's missing its lower jaw. This should be moving. Here we have the striking snake. We have some hanging props now. You got the smaller ones over here. Really small ones. And then here you have the bigger ones. The way, way bigger ones. Look at that big skull right there. That's cool. Oh, I like this uh, gargoyle with the blood on his mouth. You got something else underneath. Looks like a creepy woman. Some more skulls, skeletons. Scarecrow one I always liked. Um, here we go. That one's okay, I guess. Here's the creepy woman, if you wanted to get a look at it. And you got a light up gargoyle now. Oh, here we have a buy one, get one free right now, at least when I'm filming this, uh, hanging props, which is great. You know, make sure to come down to Party City, get these since I am kind of partnered with them in a sense, but uh, non-bias here, these are really cool. Like the zombie, especially the gargoyle, that's a unique one. Yeah, the classic jack-o'-lantern, love to see it. And here you have the big techie talking one. I believe there's a button for this on its wrist, probably. There should be a tag to try me on it. Here we go. All right, there you go, there we go. Look at the rib cage, even that lights up. That is so cool. Let's do them once more. Awesome. Here we have the hanging shaking clown. This is another techie toys item. As you can see, this guy's pretty large. She's like around probably four feet tall. Cool one there for sure. Here is the chop shop, fully stocked with all this gross gore stuff over here. Look at the severed limbs, super realistic. I don't even know if I could show this on YouTube. Really, really gross. Look, you even got jars and hands. That's pretty cool. Second part of the chop shop over here, we got this corpse, a uh, very small corpse. We got these hanging heads with some bugs on it. Look at this, you got a pirate skull with a octopus coming out of it, which is so cool. That's pretty unique right there. And what is going on with this head? It almost looks like the thing is coming out of it from John Carpenter's The Thing. It's a pretty cool one. We got these heads with the staked, staked heads right here. One of my favorite new sections for this year is the nasty food. Get a look at this. Those skull caramel apples are so cool. Get a look at the ice cream cones. I remember seeing these at the opening event. These were definitely a popular one. With these donuts too. Ugh. Got the pizza as well. Big. It's all made of latex, I should say. Even even the cookie tray is made of latex, which maybe doesn't make the most sense, but it sure is still cool. Look at the fingers in there. Look at this little groundbreaker at the bottom. What's up, buddy? 
Here's some circus stuff. You got some backdrops and look at these clown skulls. Some more, I guess, gross food. The popcorn with some gross stuff inside of it. Here we have these beware signs, which the letters move. I definitely like the effect on there. It looks pretty good. Moving on, we have some more scary stuff over here. You gotta look at this portrait. That's pretty cool. You have these door knockers, which I'm actually getting one of these. Uh, this one should work. Oh. He is very, very quiet, but I'm sure there is a way to turn up his audio. Let's do him one more time. I like it, has good, has good mouth movement. Here we have a, one of the flaming pumpkins. This one's like a lava flaming pumpkin pretty much. Oh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're working, but just get a look at the detail there. Here we have the slasher and gore decor. Look at this, the window silhouettes are cool. Take a look at these little horror babies. Got Michael Myers, look how cute he is. He's a cute little boy. That's pretty neat. Nice action going there. And should we have Chucks the Chuckster? Chucky. Nobody Not really a baby considering he is, I mean, he's a little bit bigger than in the movies, but uh, pretty cool there. You even got the good guy shoes with the detailing on there. So cool. We have some pumpkins now. We gotta look at these guys. This one looks new. I've not seen this one before. Looks pretty cool though. The Weeping Angel here has her own sign, which is interesting, but this is a really, really awesome and very, very big tombstone. Speaking of tombstones, let's take a look at all of them here. You have a Judith Myers one with Michael appearing over the top. Um, rest in peace, you know, some pretty generic ones. Oh, I like the gargoyle on the top of that one. Look at this. That is really cool. Got the candles there at the bottom. Tombstone kit, tombstones, just a whole bunch of tombstones here, folks. You got this uh, big one that I saw at the store. That one's pretty neat. You know, just a few more tombstones. A whole lot of tombstones. We have these little standing skeleton dudes. These are pretty cool, these hooded Grim Reapers. Nice. Here we have the spiders. You got the spiders with the spiders on its back. Some more spiders. Giant spider down there and some smaller spiders. Some yard props here and a whole bunch of these dolls at the bottom, they got so many. Here we got like some stakeable hands, those are pretty cool. Barbed wire, or razor wire as they call it. Yeah, that is razor wire, barbed wire, something different. Uh, here we got, oh, here's your reminder to like the video everybody. There you go, right there, the thumbs up. Look at all this stuff, you got these chains here, this pumpkin, that is so cool, trick or treat. Yeah, really cool lawn stuff this year from Party City and Halloween City, of course. Now, as an OG Creepypasta fan, I love to see that they're getting their own section here. You got Laughing Jack, Jeff the Killer, and Slender Man, of course. Here we have a Towering Terror pumpkin costume. This is one I actually have. Thank you, California Costumes. But uh, here you have him. Oh, whoops. Um, well, he's just gonna hang there, but uh, this is an awesome inflatable costume. As you can see, you put it on your shoulders and it makes you look like a giant monster. Such an awesome costume. Once again, thank you for California Costumes for sending, for sending me that last year. Here's the Twisted Circus over here. You got some props like the staff and these giant lollipops. The black and orange is so cool. Those are actually pretty cool. Let me pull one out for you here. Yeah, there you go. Here you got a big Jack Skellington inflatable with moving arms, it looks like. Got some pumpkins by his feet. Hey, look at that guy, pretty cool. I believe we have a cardboard cutout of Jack and Sally here. Yep, and then you got a whole bunch of cardboard cutouts. That is a massive, massive Beetlejuice cardboard cutout there. You got Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Chucky. And here you got the Freddy Krueger one actually set up. The standees, they call them. Pretty cool. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the store tour of Halloween City. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, nobody outpixelates. Uh.